I had an opportunity recently to, to go and meet one of our entrepreneurs and go for a walk with him at sunset. Actually, the sun had just set and darkness was setting in on the village and I wanted him to introduce me to some of his customers. And the, the first customer we went to was a small shopkeeper. She had a small Kirana shop, small retail shop in the village. And she was very excited now that she had this solar lighting system because she could keep her shop open a few more hours every day and generate more income for herself and her family. The next customer we visited was a family. And as we stepped out of the darkness from outside into their brightly lit home, I saw the young mother sitting on the floor with her children playing a game, sort of a rhyming game, a counting game. And she was playing, she was teaching, all under solar lights. And next we stepped outside into a courtyard where some older men had gathered for some tea in the evening and uh, conversation was very lively and more people were coming and as I looked around I realized we were sitting under solar lights and we were in this small oasis of light in an otherwise very very dark countryside and sitting beside me was that solar entrepreneur and I asked him why why did you choose to work with Simpo why did you choose to become a solar entrepreneur and it was actually he who told me what you said before he said well look around you know, shops are staying open, families are spending time together, the community's coming together. Before we had electric lights, village life would pretty much shut down at sunset. People would go into their homes, they'd close their doors, children would be sent off to bed, and life in many ways came to a standstill until sunrise. These solar energy systems that we provide, he pointed out, they generate maybe five or six hours of, of electricity every day.